Hey everybody, I am on my laptop again because my desktop decided that it wanted to die on me. Um, one of the fans was making a really weird high pitched noise for a few days. And then it just up in the middle of something just died. And now whenever I push the power button, it starts to rev up, like the fans start to rev up to turn on. And then it turns off. So I need to fix that. I'm guessing it's a uh, power supply problem or something. I don't know. I haven't even gotten a chance to look at it. And I'm really hoping I don't have to buy a new part because funding is tight this month. Um, anywho, so my way in, um, I'm just now getting a chance. As you can see, I'm downstairs, and the only reason this is possible is because everyone in the house is gone. It's just me, the dog, and the cat. Well, the cat's off chasing birds somewhere, so I guess just me and the dog. Um, so anywho, I'm downstairs. First chance I've gotten to use my laptop for this. Um, my way in is actually kind of dismal. Um, it's like 221 something. Uh, the whole weekend was just epic fail. Uh, my mom's birthday party, 40th birthday party, was on Saturday. And we had a, one of those big, huge Costco half-sheet cakes with the delicious frosting. <laughs> and then we had, um, like, pizza rolls and uh, just a bunch of highly processed stuff that I should not be eating. And then Sunday was one of our friends' bridal shower. A bridal shower for one of our friends. Words escape me. But, um, yeah, so then they had, like, cheesecake and little corn puff things, and it was yummy, but no wonder I gained two pounds. <laughs> so, and that weigh-in was yesterday, not Saturday. I completely forgot Saturday in the midst of everything. Um, it's kind of weird. This shoulder, like right behind the shoulder blade back here, has been hurting for like three weeks now. Um, it's a little bit better. I've seen the chiropractor. I've put Arnica on it. She cracked my back really good and my neck and everything and put some biofreeze stuff on my neck. Um, my dad's done the things where he crossed the arms and lifts. Nothing's helped. Um, it seems to kind of be getting a little bit better by itself, which I'm glad for because there were a couple days there where it really hurt. Um, and it's not, it, it didn't hurt when I moved my shoulder, it hurt when I used the muscles. So, some kind of muscular thing I screwed up, I don't know. Um, anywho, uh, not like this week. Um, this is the first full week of going back to a normal schedule after the vacation from the baby. Not my baby, my baby sister. And... I hate going back to the norm. Um, although, quite honestly, the schedule I had for the last week and a half of the vacation is the one that I would just absolutely kill to have on a daily, day-to-day -day basis. Um, I was off in the morning, got to do whatever the heck I wanted to do on leave, and then in the afternoon I actually worked from home. So I did work, but I was from home, which is nice because then, you know, I have... 15 minute break in the morning and in the afternoon, you know, twice a day. And, you know, like at work for my break, I just kind of sit there and go, yeah, it's break time, all right. Alrighty then, break time. But, you know, here I got to, like, get up and pick up my room and, you know, start a load of laundry or something. It was just nice to be able to do stuff during the day. I always want to do stuff during the day when I'm at work, and I can't. It was really nice to have two weeks where I could just, you know, stand up. Oh, I'm going to run down and switch the laundry over. It takes two seconds and come back up and finish typing this email, you know, as I think about it or go read something. I don't know. Whatever. I guess I have to look at myself on the screen. Poor thing. So, anywho, so I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, I, well, um, on the plus side, I officially know what I want my schedule to be. I don't know if that helps me any or not. And I'm back to teaching twice a week. I, I enjoy teaching. Um, it has helped me a lot. And I don't think it's so much the teaching that I have a problem with. It's the time I have to devote to it. Um, it really does kind of clog up my schedule for the whole week. I mean, I'm doing martial arts 
at least like two hours for six days a week. Well, all right, five days. I'm not really doing much on Saturday anymore. No, I take that back. Cardio kickboxing is starting up, so I will be doing it six days again. <sighs> but um, I'm going to talk to the teachers and talk to them about um, reducing it to one day a week because my schedule is killing me. I mean, I come home. If I come home right after work, I scarf down food, change really quick, run over to the one school that I teach at, teach there for a few hours on Monday night, run over to the other school, so that's 15 minutes of class, because it's advanced class, I have to be there, <sighs> and then get home at about 9.30. I get home every weekday between 9 and 10 o'clock, every night, except Tuesday. That's not a sustainable schedule. So I'm going to talk to them. Um, I know they're not going to like it. <sighs> I know they were... Uh, I'm just venting now. I should probably cut all this out, but I won't. <sighs> it's kind of the reason I made a video. And I mean, this is really like my video journal. I'm just not going to go into too much detail. I could. I could rant for a few hours on this, but I won't. Um, as far as health goes, I'm going to... I am kicking up the exercise. Um, testing is in two months, um, like a month and a half, and that is terrifying. Um, I'm feeling better about my capabilities to do it, but I want to be more physically prepared. I think I will, I'll just feel better about it if I just know that I can have more stamina. I probably have enough now. Um, you know, all the, the two other guys I'm testing with, one of them is my dad, um, they both have told me that they don't think I'll have a problem with it, but I think I'll have a problem with it, and that that goes a lot farther than theirs. Um, so I, I want to be prepared for that. Um, so I'm starting the exercise for that, and the cardio kickboxing will help with that. And my I my goal behind changing the days I'm teaching is that Monday night I will be doing like four classes in a row, and those are pretty kickbox classes on Monday. So I'm hoping that'll help. Um, still get home at like nine o'clock, but. I'll have all Tuesday to do nothing or whatever I want. Anything in between. You know, it's up to me. It's nice to have that downtime to just say, you know what? I'm going to sit here and stare at the wall and not care. There's nothing anyone can do about it. But, um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, researching a lot of stuff. Um, I want to start my research series pretty soon. Of course, my computer went up in smoke. Not really. My computer died, so I don't know when that's going to start, but um, the first one's going to be about enriched flour and why that is the way it is and what's wrong with it or right with it. Not. But I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of work on just not eating crap. That's my goal right now is just don't eat crap. Um, while I do that, I'm going to kind of sit down and really internalize, you know, I know I'm supposed to be eating whole food, and, you know, as close to the way it is in nature is ideal, but what does that really mean? I mean, is that just cutting out chemicals, or is that really honestly moving towards, like, not so much cooked food? I don't know. Um, and I don't want to move forward until I have my butt back in gear, because I'll just flounder and not get anywhere. So I'm going to work on just not eating crap for a while while I figure out the details for that. And then I'll move forward. So, life continues. I'm absolutely terrified of that conversation with the teachers tonight. Terrified! Oh well. I guess I have to grow up sometime, huh? 21. Time to start being an adult. Yeah, I'm going to go now. i got to go eat dinner before i got to go teach. The kids are great, though. I love them. All right. Bye, guys.